Behold the beauty of deep blues and violets intertwined with metallic golds that shimmer and shine. Watch as they dance and swirl in perfect harmony, creating this masterpiece is truly divine. We start with an off-white base and add in Prussian blue, which is a dark hue like deep ocean or midnight sky. Adding in a little bit of a Mars black as a shadow line. I like to layer this way with my shadow colors in the bottom, bringing through to my mid-tones with the phalo blue, which is a vibrant blue. And it's one of my favorites to work with. Adding in some violet, this hue will just complement the blues as I merge into more of a metallic field, uh, separating the colors. Just adding pops of this lightness of violet. Metallic Paradise. It's like a sky blue uh, with shimmers through it. I love this as a mid-tone. Um, it separates and it just creates a nice little contrast. The titanium white in the center is to create a sort of barrier between the two so I can separate the shadows, mid-tones and going into the highlights metallic gold this is a lighter gold and then I finish this area off with a copper bronze um, it's going to complement the violet really well and it just gives a depth to that um, metallics the goldens now it's time to wreck it using this spatula uh, it's like a rubber paintbrush that I got from the art store Sometimes the best things in life come from a little bit of chaos and that's exactly what you get with acrylic pouring. It's an art form that can be unpredictable, messy, but that's all a part of the excitement. Each pour is unique and the results can be stunning. Watching these colours blend together and creating something truly magical. And I'm using a rubber tip um, paintbrush that I just got off of Amazon. Um, I find them so much easier for me to create my designs and swirl the paints into, into formations that I like. And that way when I'm swiping through, I don't tend to swipe every section of the painting. I like bits of um, solid colour coming through. Now the trick with the uh, swiping is to take it, take it easy, take it slowly, slowly drag it across the paints. Applying, you have to practice getting your pressure right, not too deep, not too light. It's um, it's a firm but gliding, gliding it across. Now here I've dragged again in the background layer so this is a lighter area and I was testing out an old um, like a cell activator that I'd had for a few days to compare and the results were definitely mix your cell activator up fresh each painting or each day so that you can actually get those beautiful lacing um, pieces that stay through it. Here I wanted to introduce a bit of color and lacing and so I mixed up a violet cell activator and added that through and it worked really well. I normally make my cell activators with Liquitex or Amsterdam paints. This one was a mead one from uh, Amazon. Um, and it still worked out fine, like those, those cells are beautiful. Gliding it across the artworks, not ending it abruptly, like learn how to maneuver your palette knife. 
I'm still learning um, and I don't always get it right but I'm pretty happy with how this is turning out. Now I do sometimes sell activator over top of the white, um, like the background layer, especially if it's an off-white colour paint that I'm using as my base, because I actually like the way the titanium white shines through on top of the off-white. You can subtly see it in the video. Then we'll see if it stays. Just popping any air bubbles before I give it a spin. I'm noticing just touching up little areas that I was just wanted a few more cells in. Because this is going to be a very cell y piece. love how those cells have reacted on that blue so from the white to the light blue now I didn't want to lose all of those beautiful colors that were sitting very close to the edge I tend to like to have my paints very central and before I spin you know so I don't lose too much of it I want to there is quite a lot of paint on this canvas but yeah, I just wanted to limit losing a lot of that gold that I really liked. My first spin, it's just a light one. And you see how it's all come off on one area and those cells have grown now and they're stretching beautifully. I'm going to go back reverse. Sometimes nice to see it in slow motion as well. Beautiful. There's a few areas on there that I'm not ha quite happy with, like the top right hand corner. Um, I'd like to stretch that off a little um, because the main area of interest is obviously that huge cell area. Just be careful when you're tilting. Take your time with it. Don't move them too quickly. Um, if your paints are all the same consistency then you're not going to have runaway paints that just leave streaks in your work. Um, I don't mind, my, my paints are normally on the thicker side of medium, um, which means I have to push them out very slowly, they will move very slowly. It also helps to make sure that your canvas has um, got enough base on it so that it can move across it. If it's dry in areas, it's going to get caught uh, and you know, we don't want it rolling back on itself. I'm just bringing it back to center slightly because I'm going to spin these last corners off. Now that the paint is closer to the areas that I wanted to remove, I can bring it back down and just work on my composition a little. Um, but I will be doing a few more spins just to spread the paint out. You don't want your paint too thick on the canvas, otherwise it cracks. Um, so it's good to be aware of how much you're putting on and how much you need to take off in order to get a thin layer um, that's going to dry evenly. Spitting helps that. And yes, I had a little loogie in my paint so before I spin it I'm going to try and get that little bit out. Um, I'm a very me messy artist and I store my paints and they get little droplets of dried paint in them quite regularly. Um, it's one of the things I wish I was tidier but it's the creative mind I guess. another spin there beautiful that just got rid of most of those corners there's just one little bit of white there and my galaxy is appearing and there we go I really love this painting. I'm going to go back and try it again. 
There's some areas that I'd like to recreate. Just, but isn't it stunning? Like the depth, having those base layers moving through mid-tones to your highlights just creates such a stunning effect. Thank you for watching my art, my creations, and be sure to subscribe to watch more of my videos as I create them.